Hey, girl. Hey. So the story I had for you. Yes. It was a news story in the News and Observer today, Raleigh's local newspaper. Okay. So apparently there is this dude who does uh, TikToks um, out of Durham. And he does, like, uh, North Carolina cities. Okay. But, like, but like puts in pictures of when he was in other cities, right? Oh, like, was this the guy that made everybody think Gastonia was Switzerland? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You heard it because the woman from Jupiter, Florida <laughs> drove up and realized she was in the wrong place when she passed by a few run-down gas stations. Yeah, yeah. One of my friends, one of my college friends, he's from Gastonia, and he posted about it yesterday. He was just yeah. Like, he's like, I can testify under oath that they are nothing alike. There is one important thing from our childhood in Gastonia. What? The Shield Museum. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Don't you remember that stuffed bobcat that sat up yeah. there and like watched over you? Mm. One of my friends, uh, that you know very well, very well, actually. Um, used to work there as a, uh, like intern, like volunteer. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which friends? <laughs> the way you said it, I'm like the tall, Wait, thin one. Oh, okay. Oh, I love him. I just love him. Everybody does. Everybody does. I mean, it's hard not to, honestly. Like you know what else everybody universally... does. Everybody what? hurts sometimes. Everybody hurts sometimes. I'm, 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 I'm. You know, I'm not as, I'm not as punchy as I usually am at this. You're time. not. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's Wednesday, going on. I'm, you, you should c- probably do what RuPaul did and just um, lots of cocaine, co- coffee, a lot of coffee in them. I think it was, I think it was cocaine. <laughs> I <laughs> am, I am cocaine. doing for the first time tomorrow. I am getting acupuncture. <gasps> Is it cranial acupuncture? Uh, it's back, I think. Oh. Make sure it doesn't migrate down to your toe like Adina Monsoon. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry. You know that I can always reference just about anything if you say something. Like, oh. I forgot about Oh, my God. I've only had cranial acupuncture. How many, <laughs> how many falcons did it harpoon on its way down? I completely forgot about that completely Ooh, i love that shirt with all those bugs <laughs> on it i all do my, all of my clients today were like what's on your shirt i'm like oh it's just bugs and one of my clients legit was like that shirt bothers me i'm like okay well you did you know i used to raise bugs in my past no like for a living yeah um i i worked at the north Carolina state university in sectary for a bit Oh. Um, and then I got a job at a agricultural company raising bugs to be have pesticides test on them. Wow. Yep. Did Do you, you know... ever get covered in blood by PETA? No, no, no. Do you know what? No, no. It was so secure to get into these buildings. <laughs> um, do you know what company does a lot of agricultural research in America? Um, is it think Walmart? Florida? Think Florida? Okay. Think Orlando? Publix? Think, 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 think. Disney? There you go. That's the one. <laughs> like Publix. Good lord. I Good mean, lord. Don't you know that's how Floridians think? You say Florida company, Publix. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fair. That's I don't know. Always the, the, that's going to be the, always your default Publix, first answer. There's Publix and there's Disney, and that's about it, right? I mean, really? Yeah. I don't. I don't really know what else is down there. Miami but... subs. Girl, oh. I hate. I hate the one of those in Raleigh closed. <laughs> I hate well, it. Well, if you come visit, they're everywhere. So no, you thank leave. you. You aren't taking me to a Miami sub. You will take I mean, me one to of something. Them is... 
One of them is technically like a Wilton Manor's drunk destination. Okay, so. that's great. I want to go where, where the, the people, people are. are. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> I want some ceviche okay. from a stand. Okay. I want some Cuban food that is mostly pork. Okay. And I want, I don't know what else y'all have down there. Uh, Every other Latin cuisine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Of- uh, 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 Mofongo, please. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Do, do you have a large African population down there, too? Uh, we do more in the Miami area than sure. up here. So, like, we have, like, a couple of Ethiopian places. Oh, Ethiopian, um, I get here. But, yeah, we have some Haitian, a lot of Haitian places. I've never had Haitian food. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, I don't really, I I, I think I had it once. <laughs> um, I think I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, no, because, like, so there's not a lot of Haitian places in Broward. There's okay. There's a lot of Haitian places in in Miami, but the the problem is is that the the say so the the theater. This is gonna sound terrible. I already realize that now, right? So the theater is located in the neighborhood of Miami, known as Little Haiti, and unfortunately, there's not really any restaurants near the theater. So. You know, if it were if there was restaurants near the theater, I would have gone to one. But like, there's nothing near the theater. It's like in like all these adjoining neighborhoods. Uh huh. Called gentrification. It, well, it's no, it's not. It's not gotten to that point yet. But anyway, okay, okay. So yeah, but I did go to one with um with my uh my buddy um and I remember it was it was good. He had the goat. I, I love goat. Yeah, he had the goat, and he got me to try it. Um, are I'm you a happy. fan of goat? Mm, you okay. know, I'm really, I, the longer I live, the more I'm like, eh, me and meat, Ugh. you know, but it's girl, like, every once in a while, oxtail soup. I've never had oxtail. You've never had oxtail. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's why I tell people who say they've never had oxtail. Did, did, did anybody in your family, anybody in your family ever buy stew meat? Sure. Okay. You've had oxtail. They mm-hmm. just took it off the bone. I don't, it's not that I don't have it out of some kind of thing. It's yeah. like, I haven't been to a restaurant. I mean, there's not, like I said, it's all down there and I don't really eat that frequently down there because yeah. it's, know. it's, it's, it's a drive. Why would you do that? Right. Or, or it's you're like, a drag, like, right. It's a drive or I'm a drag or I'm going to, or I'm going to improv practice, which, you know, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm literally driving. You mean your improv practice isn't catered? No. Oh. Although we do have potlucks occasionally. Ooh, a potluck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I do you eat raw fish? Do we eat raw fish? Uh-huh. I eat sushi. So you'll eat ceviche? I guess. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, I know the perfect place to take you to. Because there's this place here called the Swap Shop. And it's <laughs> it's essentially like the largest outdoor market in the country yes that is where i want i want to get so sick from the ceviche there (laughs) yeah yeah i used to um i used to go there a lot uh back when i was still dating uh before we were living together because i had to drive you drive by it oh i I, I was wondering who you were talking about dating i was like this could go one of two ways no it's not the way it's not the original way girl okay um but i used to stop there because you used to have the best churros oh my god yeah just like put put those put those on the list too um (laughs) does 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 mr mame eat any of these foods uh He's more adventurous than me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, on our very first date, he had, uh, oh, what's it called? It's this stuff that the Japanese eat. It's, uh, soybean. No, it's a soybean and it's very slimy. Oh, natto. Natto. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. First date. First date. Hate it. First date. Hate it. And, uh, And the uh, the waitress, <laughs> she was like, "Really?" <laughs> she was like, I love, I love, I love natto. I'm like, "What is that?" And though it it arrived, yeah. and I was 
making some internal um, internal conversations with myself about if this date needed to continue or not. Oh yeah. Um, well, the smell alone did. is enough to like if it if it's so I okay I shouldn't say I hate it. If you buy it frozen and eat it still nearly frozen to where you can don't get that taste that fermented taste. It's okay. Like I can, I have a high threshold for fermented food. I love kimchi. I love sauerkraut. She was, great. She was super great. I don't know sauerkraut. Which season was she on? I'm gonna smack you in the face with my notes right now. There. <laughs> <laughs> Why has there not been a drag queen named Sauerkraut? What's happening now? Oh God! I guess if I ever go, I'll I'll drop to Vine Miss Mibs and call myself Sauerkraut. Oh my gosh, you should, oh, that is the perfect name for you. And then come out with a little like uh, springtime for Hitler uh, pretzel outfit. Girl, that is the perfect, that's the perfect drag name for you. I, I, but no, my, my perfect drag name is the Divine Miss Mims because that's what and who I am. No, I'm just saying if that wasn't the case. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. that would be the perfect. Perfect. I know. I know. Because I am sour and I am a kraut. So there's both. <laughs> like, it was just there staring us in the face the whole time. I know. I know. I know. But I was blessed by a drag queen named Estrogen with this name. So oh, I have a friend named Androgen. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> um, Esther, Esther didn't do drag very much, but. She, 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 she put me, oh God, the first time I ever did drag. Let me, dear listeners, let me talk about this for a second. Then we'll get on with the thing. Um, <laughs> we're going to get to the podcast. <laughs> I, I was, we always do this and I'm monitoring it. We're at 11 minutes. We got four more. Um, but yeah, dear listeners, I'm sure you're thrilled with me, with me right now. Anyway, I was at flex and I was like. Are you nervous? Are you nervous? Are you nervous? No, I'm not nervous. No, I'm not nervous. No, I'm not nervous. I had a hand-me-over wig that was this big, curly, poofy thing. Mm-hmm. I did uh, uh, River Deep Mountain High, I think was my first song. I did, but th- I got painted by Miss Savannah Beaumont, <laughs> who put, girl... I have never worn that much makeup on my face, even in everything I ever did after. And I used to wear a lot of makeup. But I like, I really desperately miss uh, North Carolina drag names so much. Ugh, like, geez. she was like Miss North Carolina Gay America nineteen. Of course she was. Because everybody was girl. Because everybody was won that pageant now. Oh God! But like, I I looked like. A fat Liza Minnelli. A fat, young Liza Minnelli. Oh, so like that one drag queen that used to do Kris Jenner? Uh, yeah. On the drag race? I mean, yes. basically, that's what she looked like. I mean, yes. Was... I mean, not not quite. Yeah, I look like that. Um, and I'm, Man, you missed an opportunity. You really did. <laughs> What'd you, you say? You missed an opportunity. You could have been North Carolina's preeminent plus size Liza c- Minnelli I impersonator. I could, I could have, I could have, I could have, I could. Oh my God! Could you just imagine? You already know all the songs. You already know all the dance moves. Come on! You could have. That could have been. You could have been. At, you could have been at Legends for God's sake. Oh, the the best, the best. So Legends used to have a um. They still do a entertainer of the month for amateur night. I remember the They're best still one. Doing I, it, that's nice. The, the best one I ever did. I I did it like twice or thrice. The best one I ever did was I did um, when I grow up by the Pussycat Dolls. Oh boy! With a rattle and like uh, Cindy Lou Who hair, and I think was I wearing a diaper? I may have been wearing a diaper. <laughs> Girl, I came in second. That's because you're such a you that you are a compelling figure in Raleigh's drag scene. <laughs> like they they just genuinely did not know what to do with you because you were so unique that they were just like, uh, what what's happening right now, right? Because you know, especially for you back then, alternative drag was not a thing. No, no, I mean we 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 had a few. We had like 
four or five. The original Trailer Park Girls. And then me. Oh, the ladies. And then Jackie O'Knight. Oh, Jackie. Oh, you tell her I said, hey, I love that woman. Girl, why don't you come up here and do it yourself? It's too much. It's too much. Well, how about, how about we get into this episode? We, we I like that we idea. Prattled. No, wait, we've got to do a couple more things. Oh my God, we've got <laughs> the a couple more is things. Leaving. They're leaving right now. Well, like, to get them to go away even faster, did you know like, we have a Terry, Patreon? <laughs> is Terry Gross on right now? Because she gets to the point faster than these two. <laughs> We have a Patreon? We have a Patreon. Patreon.com backslash you slay me. Throw us some money. Dear listeners, we're also creating a new podcast. Mame, did you know that? I had some inklings. I keep hearing about it, but it hasn't manifested itself yet. It's called Where's Dorothy? It's about um, Golden Palace, which is the sequel to Golden Girls. As soon as we record the first episode, dear listeners, you will have that as a pew, 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 pew bonus episode. This is season one, (laughs) episode nine. We're off to kill the wizard! Oh man, this was a great episode. <laughs> See, I it was something. Oh, it was. There was so no convoluted. mystery. There was, was no mystery. So convoluted. <laughs> yes, that was the problem. <laughs> there. How how are you going to do? Wait, we're, most... we're reviewing. We're reviewing sorry, the episode sorry, before sorry, you sorry, even sorry. get. Anyway, <laughs> season one, episode nine. We're off to kill the wizard. So Horatio. Horatio is looking for Jess. He's That's right. he's called this man, and 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 Horatio, Horatio yeah, called, and we find out looking he's at. looking for Jess. He's looking for Jess. Mm. So Jess, uh, Jess is visiting visiting somewhere. We don't really know what city this is taking place in this time. Like, there's no like iconography or anything. It's- I mean, I'm assuming it's some sort of suburb because it, they have to go to the other location that's probably in kind of a city area. Well, we know we know it's we know it's within like an hour's flight of Kansas City. <laughs> so so if you take if you take about a hundred miles around Kansas City, it's and it, it like Don't forget to factor in the headwinds and the tailwinds. That's true. Maybe Omaha. All I know is that it's very I love flat her. and wide. It looks like California. It did look a lot like California. I wonder why. Could it be because this is a CBS studio lot? Could that be the reason? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. No. I love it. I love it so much. Such... But man, they they I tell you, you want to talk about Americana. Her little niece. And the two little kids. And I mean, it was just like, oh, it was like white Nazi's dream. So her her niece sounds like um the 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 wo- the woman who does the voice to make fun of uh oh god, that that model. So back in YouTube, back in YouTube, back in the day. <laughs> There was somebody was making fun of the wonderful life, like, oh my god, I'm hermetically sealed to this bicycle right now. Do you not know this? No. I'll have to find it for you, and like... I'm, I hope, please do, I'm worried you're having a stroke. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I, I distinctly remember this. Um, <laughs> could, could just be the drugs. Just um, saying, just saying. <laughs> So Michael Garner, who was the man from earlier, mm-hmm. earlier, who's working for Horatio, is is shows up and is looking for Jess. We learned that the niece's name is Mrs. Donovan. We still don't have a first name yet. 
and we'll Mrs. never get Dalton. one because it's the 80s. So the, his employer wants to meet Jess. His employer mm-hmm. is Horatio Baldwin. Horrible Horatio? Horrible Horatio. The theme park maven. Maven? Maven. Maverick. Whatever. <laughs> so he's offered, he gets offered to go see, they get offered to go see Horatio's new theme park, mm-hmm. Horatio's House of Horrors. Yes. And the kid's like, I want to go, can I go? I want to go, girl's Jess. like, I want to go too. And Jess is like, ugh, God, children. <laughs> Sure, fine. Let's go to this horrible theme park. I'm too good for theme parks. Which I thought it was also funny that it was called the House of Horrors, and the first thing we see is all happening outdoors. <laughs> yes. So there's a fake hanging. Girl, you know how much I love people eating up scenery. I was about this scene because Horatio was ridiculous. With a spoon, with just like... A, <laughs> oh my God. He's like, oh... Oh, oh. It was, it was so good. So bad. Um, <laughs> uh, so there's a fake hanging. There is. There is. Thank God, because murder in front of the children is just not allowed. Yeah. I, I wrote down, I'm getting Dom DeLuise vibes <laughs> from that guy. That is not fair to Dom DeLuise. <laughs> How dare you, sir? I, I also wrote Dom down in my... Dom DeLuise is an American institution. I love Dom DeLuise. Are you kidding me? I love Dom DeLuise. That man was so amazing, his children couldn't get out of his shadow. Like, I loved Dom DeLuise. I didn't even know he had children. Yeah, they were on 21 Jump Street. They were the second generation, both of them. <laughs> Michael oh, wow. DeLuise and the other one. I wrote down on here, I don't know if you caught this, but I said the swashbuckler is more like a swishbuckler. <laughs> Well, I've got the swashbuckler looked like the uh, the guard from later on. Yes, I, he did. I, I, I did. I didn't go. I didn't bother to look see if it was the same person or not. I don't think it is. Uh, so Mike takes Jess to go see Baldwin, mm-hmm. and then we then we cut to where Horatio and Jess are walking in in like an underground tunnel to his office. Yep, and Nils app- approaches. And he's like, if we don't, if we don't fix this stuff, the, 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 his last name's Highlander, Nils Highlander. <laughs> I know. We, I wrote we, it down. We, 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 they're going to shut us down for safety. I was and impressed. A, and apparently Swedish because there's an offhanded coat, uh, yes. th- uh, offhanded comment about Swedes. Well, they are very efficient. So um, maybe that's when Ikea was first starting to make it big. In the God. Market. So that was Westinghouse taking a dig like, oh, sweet, you're coming in. So, so, so he's like, OK, you, you, you know when to speak to me and when not to speak to me. Just do what you're told. And Nils walks away and he Horatio keeps walking Jess to the to the office. And Wes Nesman from WKRP in Cincinnati <laughs> yes, pokes yes. out his head from, from the. <laughs> From an office. Dear listeners. Oh, man. I wanted him know, to be the killer so bad. I wanted him to be oh the killer so God. bad. If, dear listeners, if you've never watched WKRP in Cincinnati, I highly suggest you watch the Thanksgiving episode. It has one of my favorite lines ever that West Desmond, oh, God, just the, the, the humanity of it all. There are turkeys falling. With God as my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Uh, it is perfect. Comic perfect. gold. Like that that episode, it's where Lonnie Anderson sort of got her start. He should have retired after that episode. He should have. Like, that was Ooh, that we was could do great. a WKRP podcast. Sorry. WKRP <laughs> in Cincinnati. <laughs> Uh, how many that was on for a while? It was on for a while, yeah. I don't I, I, that was one of the first sitcoms that I have like an actual, like vivid remembering watching it as a kid when it was still on. Like, that's what I don't think it was one. still on when we were kids. Yeah, it was in it's like 83, I think. Okay, well, yeah, God, you, you can remember that far back. Yeah, I can barely remember the second shit I took today. That's 
<laughs> so so we meet we meet Horatio Sanz's secretary, <laughs> Mrs. Bascom. I thought it was Baskin, but as I kept saying it, it's Bascom. Mm. Baskin. You wanted it to be Baskin. We I all did. wanted it to be Baskin. So her name is Lori, and Jess signs. She's got one of Jess's books up there. Jess signs it, and Horatio's like, come on in. Come on into my office. Come on into my office. And Jess is like, no, you drug my ass back here. I'm going to take my sweet ass time with this very nice woman. Who could potentially be your killer? Yes. Yes. Oh, she was Lori. She is so nice. She is. Like. So, so Arnold, who, who's what's Wes's name, goes into somebody's office and, and we meet Bill. <laughs> and, <Anything or? laughs> and and Wes Wes tells Phil I'm just going to call Arnold Wes because that's fine they'll that's, know better it'll what, be yeah. easier for the audience anyway so yeah Wes tells Phil tells Phil that Jess is there and that they you know they falsified a lot of documents we, we need we need to get we need to get out we need to you know get out while we still can and uh, Phil's like no no, I enjoy this. He's going to make me VP. It's very important I, I stay this. here. What are you talking about? What, what, what? Huh? What'd you say, dear? I enjoy this. <laughs> sometimes I think that, you'll say that. Sometimes you'll say things in that voice, and for a minute, uh -huh. for a minute, I'm like, uh -huh. wait, did they say that? Because I'm like, I always trust your, I always trust your recreation of the moments. <laughs> And every once in a while, though, I'm like, wait, I don't think that's how that scene went. I mean, he did say the thing about the vice president. No, he did say that he was going to be the vice president. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's which I actually thought it was really funny because when Wes Nesman came in there uh -huh. and was freaking out, as as one would if they are. As Wes Nesman kind of, does. Right. Then it seems like, why would you want to be vice president of something like that? I don't. <laughs> like. I there mean, you go, girl. It's very weird to me. I'm like, do you want? To, is that what you want? You want to be vice president? Okay. So Horatio makes Jess an offer she can refuse. <laughs> she says no. He wants to open up a park, a J. D. Shackleford Park. Not Shackleford. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's Dear it. Listeners. I'm calling. The, I'm calling the police to do a wellness check. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Oh God! J, like you didn't even. It would have been. It would have been. It would even. Even if you had said like J B Shackleford, but you literally just said J D Shackleford. Like well, her initials are J D. It's J B. Oh, it's J B. All this time I've been hearing D. <laughs> yeah, of course you have. Oh God! Well. <laughs> Well, that's the end of the podcast. Thank yeah. you for listening to <laughs> dear, dear listeners, we're retiring. It's been great. Uh, no more podcasts for us. <laughs> Where's Dorothy's not even getting a first episode? Uh, oh. So so she's like, no, I don't want to do this. You sell these shams to children and i write literature <laughs> yeah. for those who read it yeah um that's, that's what he, we call it horatio then gets real creepy and locks jess into the office and jess is like you are a very unhappy man <laughs> furthermore unlock this door my uh niece's husband which i guess is nephew-in-law is a detective and mm -hmm. I will get you for kidnapping, yo. I mean, I mean, technically, this is one of the most uncomfortable moments the show yeah. has had so far. Yeah. When he yeah. locked that door like that, I was like, uh And we even we even had that uncomfortable guy with the nipples. Right. What was his name? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> they all have these names that just flood your mind ned or george or floyd or you know something i swear this is like the second or third carlson we've had Ernest, Ernest. <laughs> Ernest. yes we've had a heavy way 
Oh, we've all God. had a Hemingway, honey. We've all had a Hemingway. Jess is like, unlock this damn door. So he unlocks it. Then Horatio calls Mickey to find shit out on Jess. Yeah, he's not a very nice man. Mm, not yeah. really. <laughs> well, later on that night, we're in the office, and we see a couple of guardsmen. There's a gunshot! <gasps> what? Because what is murder she yet wrote without a murder? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of, you know, the show would be a little weird without that. <laughs> it's true. So you find out that Bascom left early. And so the guards call Carlson, who's Phil, mm-hmm. to get permission to enter into Baldwin's office. And and Phil Phil's like, yeah, go ahead. You you can you you hurry up and use use the axe and get in there. Oh my God, you gotta get in there. Oh my God, are you are happening. So they use the axe to get in there. <laughs> you say it's so casual. <laughs> they use the axe. To get they in use there. the axe to get in there. And Baldwin is dead. Dum, bum, bum. With lots of ketchup all over his face. Oh man, so much ketchup. I was I like, hate did ketchup. they? I was like, and it wasn't even like the good part of the ketchup. It was like the ketchup water that condenses yeah, oh, on the top of it. Oh, I Ugh. hate ketchup so much. Ugh, it is the worst, the worst condiment. Really? Yes. Okay. I, ugh. Ugh. Can you have worse condiment? Worse than ketchup. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, cheese Whiz? That's not a condiment. That's a food group. Girl, people so, use it as a condiment. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> so Carlson walks in as after Baldwin's, uh, after Baldwin's death mm-hmm. and looks shocked. There you go. That was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Somebody, somebody, give him the regional podcasting actor. <laughs> is is that a thing? Is there a potty? A potty. potty. Um, there is the there is the uh the earphones awards. Well, you but... know what? Now that we have fifty listens a week to one of our podcasts and five hundred downloads a week to one of our podcasts, not this one, dear listeners, keep listening. Keep listening. Um, Keep listening. This one's not nearly as old as the other one, though. So that's true. That's true. Um, so we're we're back at the nieces, the unnamed niece, <laughs> and Bert. We meet Bert, who's the nephew in law. Yeah. And there's a phone call for him. Baldwin's dead. No. It, I, I, it, I, was I, it suicide? I, Question. I, I, I thought it was a suicide. I mean, there, he was there with a gun on the on the desk, and there's blood coming out of the side of his head. So now we're back at the office, back at the, the Baldwin's office, mm-hmm. and we meet Captain Davis, who's a real that guy. <laughs> it well, he is. Oh man, just I love when you say it like that. He's a real bad guy. Well, he is. I, no, I, he, he totally is. I, he, was I, in, I, he was in like the I, Munsters and some other things. Like he's a that guy. No, he. Well, I mean. He and the secretary are both like they are like eighties stalwarts. Like yeah, we saw I, them. I, so it, it on Peacock where we watched this. <laughs> the she, Peacock. She, she she was she was the like the little image in the window, and I was like, "Oh my god, is that Carrie Fisher?" No, it's the Bobo Carrie Fisher. It's Bobo Carrie Fisher, just yeah. like Bobo Kate Beckinsale, who I looked right. up today, and I forgot what her name was again. That was the whole point of you looking it up. <laughs> That was the entire point of you looking up is to get the name because we couldn't remember the name. It was the only it was like Roma Downey, so we're just gonna go with that. God, could you imagine this movie if Roma Downey had been in the No I'm Dr. Boring. Quinn Medicine Vampire? That's not Dr. Quinn. That's that's Dr. Qu- that's she was on Touched by an Angel, not Oh god, that's right. Uh, uh th- th- Dr. Quinn is uh Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour. They look alike kind of to me, except Roman Downey's Irish. You're a Irish. terrible, a terrible 80s homosexual. You're terrible. I, you know what? You know what? I can't believe I just called them that they look the same. They are both. They don't look anything they alike. They don't look anything alike. It's the accent. <laughs> one's Irish, one's British. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> like the even same that's accent. not right. Everything you're saying, everything's just wrong. 
wonder if Dr. Quinn ever did an episode of this. This this would be like the right time for her. Anyway. I'll research it while we continue on. <laughs> Thank you. So it's not a suicide, but like it has to be because it like there's no way in. There's no way out. It was locked. Mm-hmm. But but importantly, a blow to the head killed Horatio. Right. Ooh, it was wait. not the gunshot. But uh, but that's uh, how that doesn't make sense. So they asked Jessica to help, and she's like, I, I, I don't have a clue, y'all, and I really want to go back to Kansas City and then so go home bad. back to Maine, because I always like to go back to Maine. <laughs> she wants um, to go so bad. She so so like, yeah. <laughs> then they panned her jogging, and she gets done with her jog, and she goes inside, and she reschedules her flight to Kansas City. Yes. Yeah. Jessica is in it to win it. She is in it to win it. <laughs> so now we're at the haunted house. And part of this haunted house is a creepy face of Horatio it's... that like that like tells the kids to buckle up and get ready for the wild ride. Oh, it's so bad. It's so very bad. I um I was really I <laughs> like for me, I guess it's supposed to be scary. Was it supposed to be scary? Or is it just supposed to be you know, vain. Vain. That's right. the way I took it. Okay. I, I did not take it scary at all. <sighs> so at this point, Jess walks in and meets Phil Carlson. <laughs> um, and we find out that Niels has all of his calls forwarded to wherever he's working because he gets a call and he's like, Amateurs, amateurs, these people don't know what they're doing. These amateurs, these amateurs, they don't know what they're doing. That was a good once again, man. You were racking up these. Uh, you know what? I sound podcast Swedish. Oscars. I sound Swedish. Poskers. We'll call them the Poskers. The, the Poskers. Poskers. The Poskers. The Poskers. Welcome I keep saying the, it'll come to life, right? Welcome to the twenty third annual Posker Awards. Here to present best female science podcast is the lovely and talented Divine Miss Mims. Hi, everyone. I'm here to announce the, what was that again? Female Scientist Podcast? Yes. Well, just like every other year and every other award ceremony, there are no black people nominated. (laughs) 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 Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. We should should make the pot pot scares a thing. The pot. But, girl, that means we have to listen to lots of podcasts i mean we don't have to award them we can just make it a thing oh okay well yeah we could do oh I've, i'll produce i mean we just start a twitter called the poskers and we just do it we just get it started <laughs> i'm sorry my brain is doing that thing it does I like what you're thinking and i'll look into that tomorrow yeah, right? <laughs> i mean good gracious if gay porn can have multiple award shows then can do oh god okay so carlson says it was definitely suicide <laughs> and just He's like super sure about that by the way super he sure he is he is it just like well who would want to kill him <laughs> carl's like everyone tell me who to thank i hated that asshole <laughs> <laughs> so now we're at the airport and jess is getting ready to go to kansas city Kansas City! And I don't know if you noticed this, she arrived 10 minutes before the flight. Dear listeners, <laughs> back in the 80s, before yeah. the Good modern times. time, Good times. you could arrive at the airport five minutes before a flight, make it all the way through security, yeah. get to your gate, and leave. Yeah. Ugh. Thanks a lot, terrorist. Yeah. So 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 the 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 cop dude at the airport's like, "Ma'am, your gate's changed." And Jessica's like, "I'm going to check the the gate board." And first. then my, Mickey Garner shows up. What is he doing here? He's like, "You're coming with me to we've we've arranged special flight." 
for you, Jay. That's very strange. That's very strange. Here's I, a I gun! <gasps> what? How are you going to have a gun in front of J.B. Fletcher? What is wrong with you, sir? What is wrong with you? Well, now we're on a private plane. Yes. Oh, my God. This woman. Where we meet Erica Baldwin, who has fantastically smeared uh, blue or lavender eyeshadow. Like, very. she's it. in a black slinky dress with just, like, the eyeshadow. It, dear listeners, if you've never seen it, it's basically like you put it on your, your pointer and index finger <laughs> And you just smear it across your eyes to your temples. It looks fantastic if you do it, it right. It looked like, amazing. She looked, um, she like, was yes. by far one of the most glamorous people that have been on this show so far. I mean, there's not many options. <laughs> so we find out that she's had four husbands and four funerals. I loved it. I loved and it. she is I love when Jessica said she was talking about her dress that she only wears for special occasions. And Jessica's yeah. like, yeah, you're going to wear that thing out. <laughs> uh -huh. So we find out that Mickey and Erica have been getting it on. Mm -hmm. Let's get it on. Well, because if, I was ratio... Mickey, if I was Mickey, I would be worried. Nah, probably. <laughs> nah, he probably doesn't have enough money. Insurance, girl. Insurance policies. So we found out that Horatio... Mm -hmm. was celibate. <gasps> Ooh. So he was gay. <laughs> so Erica wants them to prove that it was a murder. She's offered 100,000 doll hairs <laughs> to Ms. Fletcher for this because there's a life insurance policy mm -hmm. on her ratio. And if it was, in fact, suicide... It does not pay out. No, it does not. It does no, not it does pay not. To, commit, to do that. No. Oh, my God. Everything's coming together now. Him him being celibate, him chewing up the scenery. Like, oh, it's all... The cards are out. The cards are, the cards are on the table. Now. You keep on talking. I'm taking a sip of water. Yeah. He was uh, definitely... Ooh, I wonder if he was... I wonder if he was getting it on with um, the WKRP guy because... Later in the episode, he talks about um, feeling really sad and feeling really nervous about his cat. <laughs> so we're back at the at, we're back at the uh, niece's house. Okay, mm -hmm. I almost thought you said Nissan dealership at first. I yeah, was like, wait, be, oh, he's saying great. niece. Oh no, and a Zuzu too. Um, oh, the most racist thing. The ever. most racist memory I have about the TV commercial that was yep. allowed for many years. Many, and the, I think those puppets are still on a billboard. <laughs> All three of them, and a Zuzu too. Uh. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> Lori's there. She says she killed Baldwin. Cut the commercial. We're back. Mm -hmm. she said she wasn't supposed to leave him alone and that's why he died so what had happened was they what had happened a, was they had had a huge argument he was yelling at her so she took her stuff and ran did you see how he was flailing away at her? Yes, like, yes. Good lord! Did he have who, like a knife at some point? Who fights like that? Like he was. I don't. Well, he a, a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> a homosexual who's filled the drama. I, you know, I've done it. <laughs> Tell me, you haven't? I mean, I'm not really a fighter, so you know. I'm not, uh huh. I never been much of a fighter. <laughs> anyway anyway so you found out that he that Horatio was blackmailing everyone mm -hmm. he had files on everyone which means they had to be in a secret cubby that's right oh lord so now we're back at the office looking for the cubby yep and the captain was there and was like, why didn't you arrest Lori? <laughs> and then Carlson comes in and says, what are you looking for? You've been over this office many times. You couldn't possibly find anything else. There's no way for anybody to come to this office. Oh, my God, what are you doing here? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was so, a lot. I feel bad for your vocal cords. So Jessica finds a thermostat on the desk. Mm-hmm. And she's like, what's the temperature in here? What's 68? All of the rooms are. Then what do you think this thermostat is doing in here? With soot on it. What? There's some matches right here. Let me light one and put it in front of this thermostat. <laughs> and then the desk goes. The files are gone, Mame. <gasps> Stop it. What is happening? I don't like it. So now we're back at the airport. <laughs> and Arnold Megram, who who's oh. West Nessman. West Nessman. Is getting ready to go to Mexico City. Not Mexico City. El Ciudad de Mexico, I believe is what it is. <laughs> uh. I, I could be wrong on that. Please don't come at me. I'm not that good at Spanish. I'm better at German. Um, but still not you that are, good. You are German. Yeah, but mostly, yes. Okay. I mean... I've had some Mexican in me. Lord Jesus. That's because you've been hanging out at the Chino Latino. Oh, God. Dear <laughs> listeners, I'm about to tell a sex story. <laughs> Not a sex story. No, please, God, no. <laughs> so back in the day, back in the day, I was having sex with somebody. Mother Mame, you might want to turn it off. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to leave this be. I'm just going to leave it be. <laughs> I'm going to leave I it mean, be. You could have had that revelation, girl. You could have done it. I mean, you speak I, we, your we, truth, honey. Speak your truth. No, no. I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go this time because it's it's a complicated story. And I, I'll, I'll just let it go. Lord. So. Dear listeners, um, somebody is having a moment. So. <laughs> so. Somebody informed the people that West Desmond was going to be there. Yes. So the cops go after him. Oh, no, there's a chase. There's a chase. There's a chase. Oh, no, he trips over a, over one of the little things that cars pull up to. I don't know exactly what those are called. Oh, no, money goes everywhere. And people just start taking it. <laughs> like, right? Is that a like, thing? They, Is they, that a they, thing? They just, they just come out of the damn woodwork. There were no people around him. But all of a sudden, in this tiny little city that I don't know where it is, that people are coming out of everywhere. And I know one of them was black. And I know there aren't any black people in this city. No. That was like, well, well, the security, well, the, the, the bad guy was also um, black. That's right. The, that's right. The, that's the, right. The, 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 what do you call him? Like the, the, the guy with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. I guess you're right. I guess this is a very racially diverse town in <laughs> Two. Nebraska. Two. <laughs> there were three. The, the guard, the gu- other guard in at the beginning was black. Oh, that's right. Right. That's right. Yeah. So the one that was like, what do we do? We can't get in the door. Yeah. <laughs> so you find out it's one hundred and ten thousand doll hairs. Mm hmm. And for some reason, West Esmond also has the files. Yes. And and he's like, you know, a man called me and told me to leave. But a man also called the airport with a muffled voice and told them he was going to be there. Is it a quinky dink? No. Okay, that's right. Okay. So. I was guessing it was either that or C. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever C is, that's what I was going <laughs> So we find out that Garner was left off the list of of the of the like blackmail stuff. He's nowhere to be found, right? Mm-hmm. So now we pan to Garner's house. And there's a <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And Garner lives on a like on a high rise. <laughs> Yeah, a high rise in this tiny little city that we don't know what it is, right? The, the tiny city is of Gotham? Los Angeles. Los is this Angeles. Gotham? <laughs> no, it can't. It can't. It can't be. It can't be L.A. That's not an hour flight from Kansas City. I'm just saying where the high rise was located. I know. <laughs> oh, you know what? Minneapolis, maybe. Maybe that explained the flat, the white, 
and the high rise. That's, I mean, that's the entire Midwest. Well, no, Chicago and Milwaukee have people. That's true. Of color. That's that's true. Although they try to get rid of them, but you know that's the thing. <laughs> so, oh no, the cat is a recording. Oh no, somebody just flew Garner off the building. Yeah. <laughs> and I wrote down. <laughs> I miss the 80s and watching those mannequins fall from balconies. Yeah, yeah, that mannequin <laughs> took too long to fall. Oh. So we're back at the niece's house. And we found out that Garner was a PI. And mm-hmm. he also had a file on Jess. <gasps> See, this is what I'm talking about right there. This is what I'm talking about. Jessica's had some stuff going on. Uh-huh. Well, Jess is at Baldwin's office. She's just looking around, thinking about things. <laughs> um, and so, I know. So, Bert's like, no, no, she needs to get out of there. So, Bert calls her in the office, and she noticed the phone's light is not lit correctly, and it's not ringing right. That's strange. So, Jessica work, goes through a little thing with, with the officer, the, the, the security guard of calling and working out call forwarding and you know modern office things she looks at the back of a phone see something's not quite connected correctly <laughs> and through all of this like haphazard luck she figures out the murder yes i mean it was amazing that she she knew i mean i would not have known to take the phone apart um right i, I would not have known what that cord was for Look at her having a very strong knowledge of telephone electronics. No. <laughs> so now it's time now. to set the trap. So O'Brien, O'Brien, <laughs> who happens to be the, the security guard, we finally gave him a name, gives Carlson a letter and says to call Jess. And Jess has talked to him. She's like, Mickey left some files on microfilm hidden in that place you know that's got that's a little broken and down. So apparently the props people wanted to use that face more than once is what's mm-hmm. going on. Because that probably cost some money. It probably did. And she says, meet me there in 40 minutes. So at the face, at the face, Jesus <laughs> at Christ. The face. I, never, I never thought I'd say that, but here we are. <laughs> Carlson opens up the face and finds the tiniest thimble of film. Mm-hmm. Jess shows up. Look at you, A little Jess blurry, thing. but little she's blurry. there. A little blurry. So, mood lighting. we find out, mood lighting, <laughs> that Carlson replaced his own file in the, in the blackmail files. <laughs> and then he's like, I've already committed one murder. What's one more? Ha ha. Oh, wait, sorry. I've already committed one murder. What's one more? I was going to say, ha It's your method actor, remember. Yeah, That's true. Care. And then he shoots Jessica. How dare he? How dare he break a mirror in her presence? Niles, dare he? Niles shows up like, I'm glad that worked out for you, Jessica. Yes. Then begins the craziest explanation we have heard thus far. So I was sitting there like, wait, this the the, the thing that this man did in the heat of the yep. moment. Yep. So how it goes and what they supposes is Horatio let Carlson in. Be because Carlson was upset about the vice presidency not being given to him. They struggled. Somehow Horatio hit his head. Yes. Carlson panic. Went to his desk where he keeps a pistol. And reprogrammed the phone to go to Horatio's office. Yes. That's the he first then <laughs> goes. He's what keep in mind he's also wearing a Stephen Jobs outfit. Yes, black turtleneck. Yes. 
So he disconnected the light bulb on Lori's phone yes. and the bell on Horatio's phone. Yes. He fake shot. He locked the door, fake shot Horatio in the head. When they got the call to Carlson, Carlson was actually in the office and said, get in there. So then, as they're busting in, Carlson pulls that turtleneck over his head, goes to the corner into the dark, because apparently this room was dark even though the lights were on. And Black light. Yes. Runs out as the cops are coming in. They were so focused on the dead body that they did not notice him come out, and then he threw away his sweater, came back in, and was like, Hey, guys, he's dead. <laughs> so... No, what just happened? <laughs> so, we're now at the airport. Jess is leaving. A sad time. She gives the hundred thousand dollar check to Lori mm. to write the book. Mm. And scene. I thought the ending was super sweet. It like, was. Because I don't know that Lori woman, but man, she played that whole innocent ingenue like so well that I was just like, oh, how wonderful. Oh, she hugged the, her Jess's nephew-in-law. What's That's weird. Um, You know. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do 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 do. You were huh. vibing. You were totally vibing. Just I now. was. So I, I'd like to mention something about this this weird ass episode we just talked about. <laughs> They're gonna get weirder. <laughs> so so when 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 he was in the office, I, the second time I watched it through, I looked to see if he was actually in the shadows. He was not. No. Like, why was he? Because that wouldn't make sense. Because you would have seen him. Right. The... <laughs> the whole purpose would have been like, oh, he killed them. Yeah. That's yeah. I, mean, know. <laughs> I mean, I knew from the very beginning that he killed him. Like, well, right? I mean, once again, this particular episode, they didn't even try to make him likable. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. like from the minute all he was on, it was like only one character of this entire show is kind of being a dick yeah so i'm pretty sure he did it janice dickinson no that's not it that's the supermodel remember she's the world's first supermodel according to her yeah no that's not it that's oh god it was one of those 80 supermodels who did like a health tape i'm I'm going back to that youtube no no no, not kathy ireland not kathy ireland Uh, or was she Um, was she a oh my god oh my god rachel hunter Rachel Hunter did fitness tapes. No, it was a health tape. It was like a, welcome to my home. This is how you blah, 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 blah. Helena Christensen. I'm just going to keep calling out 80s models names. (laughs) It's one of my talents. (laughs) Paulina Poroskova. Um. Oh, God, what is it? (laughs) Oh, it's going to bother me. I still say Kathy Ireland. <laughs> it's not Kathy Ireland. This woman is not. Where is Kathy Ireland by now? Huh? Like, what in the world? I, I just thought about know. that. I wonder if Murder, She Wrote is ever going to get reboot the way they're rebooting. Um, The way that they're rebooting Perry Mason. That would be cool. That would be cool. Because I, that I be love cool. that Perry Mason reboot. I love it a lot. Okay, let me see. Oh, good. Now that you're looking on your phone, I'm going to look up Kathy. Okay. Okay. Brenda Dixon. Brenda Dixon is Who her is name. That? Who is that? I don't know oh, that person at all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I'll, that's it. I will send it to you after this. I just need to know her name so I can send you the comedy. All right, girl. You know What's what? That's sad. Kathy Ireland hasn't done anything since 2002. She's probably made some sheets for Kmart. I mean, she hasn't acted in anything. <laughs> okay. And on that note, girl, you know what? We've talked for an hour here. Have Why we? don't you tell... Huh? Have we? You know, 
Yeah, we talk. I'm, I'm being an ass right now. I'm being an ass. Oh well, it's 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 not becoming. I've heard that before about my ass. I know. I know. So, <laughs> dear, why don't you tell our dear listeners where they can find you? Totes. Um, hi, dear listeners. So hi. my name my name is Auntie Mame. I'm your favorite relation. You can find me on social media at Auntie.Mame. That's M-A-I-M. Uh, you can find me on, let's see, that's on Instagram and on Facebook. On Twitter, you can find me at the Mame Ministry. That's, uh, once again, M-A-I-M. Um, and if you are ever down in the South Florida area, um, I do improvised comedy at Villain Theater in Little Haiti, and I host a weekly karaoke show called Amazing Colossal Karaoke in Miami Beach at a little bar called Kill Your Idol. And I would love to meet you. How about you, Mims? I am the Divine Miss Mims. Divine. You can find me at Divine Miss Mims on Twitter. Why you got stank face while I tell people where to uh, pop? <laughs> sorry. I was in one. <laughs> I opened my phone up and it took me to one of those um, drag listings for costumes. And I was like, oh, God. You can find this podcast at You Slay Me Pod. You Twitter. Slay Me Pod. You can give us some money on Patreon. God, For that God's was sake, rude. Give us some goddamn money. <laughs> at patreon.com backslash you slay me. Um, there's also a link to PayPal in our uh, info if, mm-hmm. you, if you decide to. Um, we have two other podcasts. We have Baking Sugar, which is our Designing Women podcast. We will soon have Where's Dorothy, which we've talked about a lot already. So we will not mention again that it is a Golden Palace podcast. We're we're not professional podcasts. This is not our living, guys. This is a hobby. I mean, at this point, we kind of are professional podcasters. But This is a hobby. This is a hobby. But it is a hobby. It is very much a hobby. It's a fun hobby. This is how we keep our connection going. It's true. It's true. It's true. Celebrate the moments of our lives. I thought you were going to sing God Bless the Rains Down Africa. No, That's what's... I was singing the, 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 the coffee thing, International Delights. <gasps> that <Jean>. waiter? <gasps> In Paris? <gasps> Jean Luc! <laughs> All right, Paris. Mame, I, th- I think we've worn out our welcome. Say goodnight, Mame. <laughs> Good night, Mame. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>